Hey guys, welcome back to Honey Badger Arcade. I got a quick little video announcement for y'all. It's happening. We are going to be um, leveling up here. So what do I mean by that? Well, Cabrutus Rambo's website, DEI Detected, is now up and running. And I'm gonna show it to you. So come check it out. I think this is great news. Um, and he is open to taking all kinds of additional requests or uh, suggestions for or things to add to the website. You know that this is, you know, uh, just one guy. I think he's got like a couple of people helping him out. So we should all be trying to help him out. Let's all come together. Let's all like give him our support and our love because what he is doing is really important. And we see that the conversation is not slowing down. Um, People, more and more people are realizing what's going on. We saw what happened with Pokemon Go. We saw what happened with uh, what's going on with Warhammer 40,000. And not just like, you know, the miniatures, but the games and, and the shows and all of this. So this has to, you know, this, this has to end somehow. And I think the best way is for number one, we have to be informed. We have to know like what's going on, who is involved. And hopefully some people will go into like why this is happening. I, th I think that that is a very crucial thing to understand because sometimes the stuff that is crammed in here is obvious and we can see it. And sometimes it's a lot more subtle and subversive, but you can spot it if you know what to look for. And maybe I will make some videos about that in the future. So. Before we get into that, though, I just want to say, please subscribe to this channel if you're interested in looking at the kind of Sweet Baby Inc. Gamergate 2 um, conversation with a little bit more depth. I've been involved with Gamergate since 2013, 2014. I knew I saw the writing on the wall in the comic book industry. Um, I got involved making content because of an independent comic book I was working on when I was in college. This is like going back to 2011, 2012. So I saw the writing on the wall and I've been talking about this for a long time. So please subscribe. I'm getting really close to 500 subs. And when I do, I will be creating a Discord server and memberships. And I'll try to add more fun things for us to do. One of the things that I think is important is that we build some community around the things that we care about and try to like share these things with each other because uh, obviously the people who run a lot of these companies they don't care about us at all and we need to let them know that we don't need them and that we can build our own things so let's do that let's get involved with that all right so let's look at the website so this is deidetected.com it is up and running before there was kind of a placeholder uh that Cabrutus put up there but he wanted to let us know he had planned to do this and of course he is just getting started and we have to support him in my opinion uh and here it is it says force dei is becoming unbearable in games it's time to push back vote with your wallet and you can look and you see that he's already listed or shows several games that are affected by um dei initiatives and the, he's got the consultants listed here. You can look. It's only just started, like I said. We've got all the publishers involved, and which is a lot. Ubisoft, Fellow Traveler, Raw Fury, Warner Brothers Games, 505, Wizards of the Coast. And a lot of these don't just do, you know, video games. Like, you know, Wizards of the Coast is involved with Dungeons & Dragons as an IP. This includes a tabletop game and everything else that comes out of it, right? Uh, Warner Brothers is also, you know, involved with the, it's not just the games, but also the studio itself. Uh, they own the rights to, like, legendary IPs, like Lord of the Rings, if I remember correctly. Um, I know they own the movies, right? So, you know, that could be, it's important to know. Bandai Namco is on here, and that's important to note, too, because Bandai Namco is uh, historically a Japanese company. It just tells you that the Japanese are not immune, and you should know that. Um, and yeah, and so on. And also you can find his videos here, uh, where he, you know, like I said, this is just starting out, but I wanted to get this out there right away. Give him a sub over on YouTube. If you want to support him, uh, get to know what, you know, what he's about. He's just a normal guy that wants good video games. Uh, we also have sweet baby Inc 19 games detected gamer X one game, at least on here. 
and uh, you can even go into the website let's we can look at dei detected there's also a list uh, he has a page for games that are dei free there's nothing on it right now but it's good to know that you know you're not just being told like these are the games that are paused but you're also being told these are the games that are not paused if you're interested and i think it, it that matters you know and look in a way like almost any game is going to have some people in it with these kind of progressive woke politics that can't be helped it's just a reality hell divers 2 arrowhead studios the community manager is super woke but she does not necessarily impact the product so as long as the product stays away from that in my opinion it's fine i can i can cope with it okay um so anyway here's the great dei games database and you can look uh you uh i chronicle i don't i'm not sure about this game but here you go dei detected pokemon go i know this was like a big thing people were talking about space tow truck the crow the crew motor fest sorry about the mispronunciation flintlock siege of dawn unknown nine awakening and it goes on right there's plenty listed here it's probably good to know like you know that this is going on and maybe you know especially when it comes to some of these games that are based in something or at least claim to be based in something historical um it's probably good to know like what is the real history what are they changing because this is what they do like they're all about like um altering the canon not just of like an intellectual property like star wars or doctor who um or the marvel universe or whatever it is that you're into but they but they also want to change actual history You've probably seen what was going on with google ai and these claims these ridiculous claims that come out of not only like you know activists online and and journalists but even like you know institutions that we put our trust in like smithsonian so this wokeness is a disease and it, and it needs to be cut out immediately but it starts with informing each other so i'm going to include a link to deidetected.com in the description as well as an email address so that you can contact cabrutus rambo or his people and help him out like do you know of a developer or do you know of a company or a product that is like you know that has been touched by dei and you want to share this information send it to him and maybe he'll put it on the website I, I think that's what they're looking for is more people to contribute this should be in my opinion a public effort something that we all take part in so i'm gonna end it there um thanks for coming on the show and again look for the stuff in the description help me get to 500 subs uh please like share subscribe and comment and i'll talk to you all in the next one long live vivian